Without mentioning any candidate by name, U.N. Ambassador Samantha Power said their opposition to resettling refugees here is wrong and short-sighted. By turning away refugees, we would lose out on the tremendous contributions that they will make to our societies, that they have made. Power pointed to predecessors Henry Kissinger and Madeleine Albright as examples. In the Seton Hall University audience, she pointed to guests she invited, the nonprofits and Pakistani, Iranian and Syrian refugees. They helped to resettle here after fleeing war and persecution. Imagine for a moment refusing to take in a family threatened for its beliefs. The ambassador also invited the mayor who wrote to the White House in September that he would welcome refugees to Hailden. I recognize and other mayors recognize that we need to separate these normal folks, everyday folks, from the combatants. Republican Assemblywoman Holly Shapisi says she has the same compassion for families and women. But when you're talking about large numbers of single young men being integrated into a Western society, when they come from maybe areas or cultures that have viewed women for generations as second, third, fourth class citizens, it's a very dangerous proposition. The administration's policy on resettling Syrian refugees in America has come under fire from governors and many others in America. But so has the administration's policy on dealing with the Syrian conflict, which has led to the refugee crisis. We learned from Iraq and Afghanistan state building is not easy, right? People elected the president with the idea that we want to disengage from foreign wars. So how can he withdraw us from two wars and then get us back into one on his way out? Power came to Seton Hall University to expound on President Obama's last State of the Union address. She countered the campaign trail assertions that America is seen as weak under Obama. Power said the Ebola crisis two years ago showed that the perception among nations is just the opposite. That's a belief that we can just snap our fingers and, and uh, remake the world ourselves. Power said the policy of engaging hostile countries, such as Iran and Cuba, is about helping each nation's people. By restoring diplomatic relations with Cuba, we have taken away the regime's bogeyman. But the administration's policies have created a cadre of campaigning and critical commentators. The ambassador says it feels it needs to address. Michael Hill, NJTV News.